Yo, what is going on guys? It's Owen and today you brand new on the channel. So today I've got a Photoshop thumbnail tutorial for you guys. So hopefully by the end of this video, um, you would have learned something and hopefully you can take it and make your thumbnails better. I would just like to quickly say that I know not everybody has Photoshop. If you want to get it for free, I'll link my good friend King Gabby's video down in the description below. It's how to get Photoshop for free. So if you want to go check that out, do that now and then come back to this video. But yeah guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can make this thumbnail up on screen. Um, Basically the tips that I will teach you, you can basically hopefully use in any thumbnails. And yeah, so the first thing you want to do is just obviously open up file, new, then type up your thumbnail, thumbnail. Two, three, I'd also like to say guys this video um I failed it twice um both half an hour long so if you could slap a like man I would I would just really appreciate that. And also as well as checking out King Gabby, don't forget to check out visual arts and Timpers because both of these two are very good graphic design channels. I've learned a lot from watching their videos and today we're gonna be using Visual CC Pack and Timpers 4K graphics pack. I'll link both down in the description below and they're all free as well okay so obviously you've got this so now the first thing you want to do is go into and get your background so um the background i'm going to be using is going to be just a normal kind of hd um picture of this city um you know nothing special really the background image usually has to match your video so if you're doing a gta 5 video the background has to be a gta 5 there's no point doing a gta video and then having a like a call of duty background okay so that's placed in and then what we want to do just centered it up and then all good so now you want to go into timpers pack put me go over to stocks hit the drop down click on the layer and press the little i and then what you want to do is press command u if you're on pc that will be control change this all the way to 180 or just mess around with what color you want as you can see if you want a pink kind of thumbnail you can have that it just depends really but i want a very nice blue thumbnail so i'm going to be using this so basically once you click on the layer you want to hold on your mouse drag it into this and then bang so then i like to put it on screen 30 opacity and there we go that's your first stock so you want to go back to this uh, click hide on that then you want to go over to overlays um, this red one I like to use again command you and I like to I like to put this as a little bit more darker blue if I can find it okay like that I like that and then once again once you click ok and then just drag it into it so once that's centered up I like to put it as overlay and then change this to about uh, 40% looks nice. The two blending options that I like to use is overlay and screen. I think those two are probably some of the best ones. So yeah, as you can see, this is kind of makes it look a lot darker and you can kind of faintly see the um, stuff on the side. But yeah, so finally the final uh, stock or overlay that you want to add is this be it black and white one. Just drag it in once again throw it on there and then I like to add color dodge so these are all the stocks and overlays that you're going to be needing to use so the next thing I'm going to do guys is add the flames that you can see here I picked this up from Timper's video it's very good it's like a nice little kind of image that you can add just to kind of fill some space because a very good tip that I have for making thumbnails look better is to fill up the space if you just have text it's not going to look that nice so you like to have subtle things like um, these flames and it really does make the thumbnail look a lot better so once again command U change this all the way to 100 and minus oh, 180 sorry it looks a little bit crusty not gonna lie you know it looks a little bit pixelated but you know it's whatever it doesn't it doesn't really come out too much and then you want to hit lighten to get rid of the black and there we go so now what you want to do guys is you want to go right click hit rasterize layer so you can basically rub out all the stuff you don't need so i'm gonna rub out oh and if it's like that little x it's probably because you have caps lock on so just hit caps lock off and then you should be all right so yeah i'm gonna rub out all of this kind of stuff all of this kind of excess flames and yeah that's about it so now you want to hit command j to duplicate it then you want to hit command t right click flip horizontally and there we go the flames have been flipped and that's looking nice and symmetrical the next thing you want to do guys is add the text so the first layer of text i want to have is obviously from the tutorial or thumbnail sorry um this can basically be you know whatever font i like to add quite a simple font which i'm going to be using which is going to be called nexa bold i'll link this in the description down below um i'm gonna probably change this to about 80 
actually maybe a hundred as you can see if you can see here, it just makes it, it expands it a little bit more it makes it a little bit more spread out and then really decrease the size of this so yeah I'll link this font down in the description below I like to have this simple font in a nice little gray kind of color um, this way and then the other font I'll have in this nice blue that I have here so actually what I might do before I do any of this I'll just make the other um, tutorial as well just write it out so tutorial um, and then add a little explanation mark you might not be able to see it so let me just drag that down so this is going to be the nice blue one that we're going to have so I want to highlight it go down here hit minus 10 which is the default so it's like kind of clumped together then DK Cinnabar is what I'm going to be using for this bottom one make that probably around like 30 40, 35 I'd say oh oh never mind that was a mistake tutorial make this around oh god get this to about 35 then yeah so now the blending options that I want to add right click blending options inner glow that basically just makes it kind of let you see that's quite a nice effect and then obviously a drop shadow so like 100 opacity overlay is key and then five size and then gradient overlay just copy everything that I'm showing you guys and um, you'll be good so this is how I like to lay out the blue text about here if you want to center anything guys hit command a and then hit this one this will center it like that and the other center is there so I have it about there and then just using the arrow key just push it up and yeah that's about night that's about right and then right click on this so this one I want to be grey so we'll basically just grab this black and white one which is default change the black by double clicking to this nice kind of greyish colour you want it to be quite um, the grey to be quite close to white overlay just the same as what we did before and yeah there you go that's your other secondary text so what I might do is just make this a little bit smaller maybe like 15 okay and just like that that looks quite nice I think just to center it hit shift or uh, hold in that layer there and then hit shift and click on that one and you have both of them command a and just yeah but yeah so that's about it for the text and as you can see it looks quite nice i think so now what we're going to do is add these um kind of uh paint brushes that i added so i like to add something you know just again like another kind of um picture um i'll show you in a sec i need to open up my chrome so once it's open I'll show you guys okay this is gonna be the paintbrush I'm gonna use as you can see this little checkered background means it's transparent which means there'll be no background so you just get the image and you can save image as but what I like to do is just copy image just to save some space because it does build up over time so copy image then hit a new layer and then press command V to paste and yep that should be the brush okay this thing is big that's what she said <laughs> okay so just decrease the size quite a lot because you know it's going behind your text okay so i think that's kind of centered up quite nicely and yeah so there we go that's going to be one brush so what i would like to say is that um whenever you're doing a tech or whenever you're doing a thumbnail guys or just add this color overlay that i'm doing just to kind of make it um blending with the uh, text a little bit more and then add another uh inner glow but what you like to do is instead of just having just normal text you like to have this other kind of pictures around it um, so if you see on my thumbnails, I'll put a demonstration up on screen. Um, like you, instead of just having text, you also want to have an image. So save instance in my Zagola sniping video, I had the text, and then I also had a sniper rifle. In my GTA 5 video, I had um, the GTA 5 funny moments, and I also had the flames, and I also had the characters. So just stuff like that, it kind of fills space because a good thing about a thumbnail is that, or a way to make a thumbnail look nice is by filling up the space. So what I've just done now is press command J, command T, just like we did with the flames and then flip horizontally. Then I'm just gonna basically just line up these uh line up the points. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And there we go, that's about everything. So yeah. But um, however guys look if you look at this and then you go over to here this looks way nice and it just looks a lot more vibrant and a lot more it's a lot more saturated okay so now guys i'm gonna show you basic kind of lighting effects to um basically just make your formula look way better so new layer then you want to zoom out with a thousand size on the brush and the white color 
and then just kind of click at the top here so as you can see it just has that kind of subtle light it might you might not notice it but with some um thumbnails it looks really good it just kind of depends so i'm gonna do 70 percent then hit a new layer Ooh. no new layer literally deleted that again with the brush tool you're going to change this to 200 and then now you want to do is just highlight um uh, kind of focus points so i would stay away from the text because it changes the color and as you can see i highlight these buildings you know highlight the brush stuff like that and yeah then you want to hit overlay and then as you can see just kind of add a little nice effect that i like to do so now guys you're going to basically just change up the thing completely you want to go into visual cc pack um it will be like this close down the main image hit the drop down click on this and then just drag it into your thing uh, into your tutorial into your thumbnail sorry so now guys you want to basically go through all these different uh cc's and just see what works for you and what works with the thumbnail so now guys i'm gonna quickly just show you what ones i used in this thumbnail and yeah just put it in okay guys so i've added the cc's i've got number one at 30 percent number five at 40 number eight at 30 and then number 10 and number f 11 <laughs> at both 40 percent and as you can see that makes a huge difference to the thumbnail makes it a lot more attractive and just kind of makes you want to click on it so um i would recommend the ct pack i think it's probably the best ct pack out there um visuals one i have used a lot he has actually even made a version two and i'd like to say quickly that all of these things that i'm using are free but um he's made a second one but i think this is probably the best one guys so i'll link it in the description down below everything that i'm using i'll link in the description down below and yeah so that's about it for the cc's guys and now we're pretty much done we're just gonna add these basic lighting effects again so your new overlay um then you want to hit the brush tool again with the 200 size and once again you just want to hit focus point so you know um i'll hit stuff that i hadn't hit um yeah and just like that overlay and there we go it just kind of highlights the color corrections new overlay again you want to do the same thing brush tool a thousand hit up the top here zoom out and uh, zoom in 50 percent and yeah that's about it guys um i hope you guys did enjoy um actually i'll do one last thing so basically you want to hit the top layer go all the way down holding shift click on that one and it'll highlight everything command g to group everything command j to duplicate command e to merge and then command j again now you want to go into the filter tab then you want to go over to filter gallery then hit stylize click on the drop down click on it glowing edges then it'll do this hit overlay i like to probably change it around to like 30 percent and just makes it look a little bit better then hit again on that bottom layer command e to merge it command j and then finally what you want to go and do is go into other high pass nine pixels and then once again hit overlay and i like to change this to about 60 percent but yeah that just kind of depends on your thumbnail so yeah guys um i hope you guys did enjoy i hope this helped you out and as you can see, this is our thumbnail. This is just the final fix that we did. But um, yeah, I hope you just guys did enjoy. Um, like I said at the beginning, you know, hopefully I'll help you out. Everything that I will, everything that I use in this video, I'll link in the description down below. And yeah, um, hopefully this did help you out, guys. Just the main tips to take from it, you know, uh, I like to have uh one text. Uh, the tech if you have two layers of text or two kind of floors, I don't know how you call it. One like a really kind of uh jazzy font you know what i mean just kind of like really kind of you know kind of funky i guess and then one kind of plain font in white and then the funky kind of one that sounds really cringy but i'm um, in like a nice blue and in the background you know however you want it to and then just have kind of uh, a couple images that relate to your thing um obviously in this video it's a little bit harder for me but i mean if it was like a gaming from now i'd have probably like a gun if it was cod or like a character if it was like gta when this video we kind of added paintbrushes and stuff like that so sometimes you need to improvise but yeah guys that's gonna probably wrap it up for this video like i said if it did help you out or you did enjoy it then please slap a like if you haven't already subscribed on the road to 1k and on that note guys i have been Sylphin and i am out